All right, guys, so this is kind of an updated video. I'm just gonna move that a little bit. There we go, a little better, a little updated video. We did a video a couple days ago in regards to working with the footage out of the iPhone 12 with the Dolby Vision HDR. And we were having all kinds of issues and I watched a couple other videos of other people and they were also having issues. So uh, luckily I posted that video in regards to how I do some basic color correcting, but someone left a comment on that video and it is a step-by-step -step on how to actually work with the Dolby Vision HDR out of the iPhone 12 so that it can actually go up to YouTube with all that information in it. So we're going to do that today. We're going to do it right now. I've got the instructions here on this computer. I got Final Cut up here. Now I do believe as he said here, for the first way that we do this, uh, you do need compressors. So if you just bought Final Cut by itself, invest in compressor because we're going to use that. You also need to make sure that we have a drive that you can create a new library on. So we're going we're gonna to do all this step by step. We're screen recording and I've got some footage that was just small footage taken in the iPhone's HDR Dolby Vision as well as the same kind of footage taken in just standard. So we're gonna just kind of mix them together and see what happens. All right, so first off, it says that we need to start with a wide color gamut library. So we're gonna create on this drive here, a new library, file new, new library. We're gonna call this uh, HDR. Okay, we're gonna call it HDR, yep. And we're gonna put that on, not that drive, but this drive right here. Okay, so HDR, save. Now we have this HDR library up at the top, but now over in the top right hand corner where it says HDR, it says standard. So we're gonna click on this modify and we have to turn it to wide color gamut HDR, right? So. It says here, importing HDR contact into a standard dynamic range will look wrong, which is what we've seen when we try to do that. All the highlights and everything get blown out really bad. When you create a project, it says in the next one, after you create this wide color gamut, you want to set your timeline a little different. So we're going to change this. We're going to make a new event. Okay. In here, we're going to call it HDR test. I hope I spelled that right. HDR test. Okay. And new project. We're going to leave it here, but see how this one says wide color gamut, uh, rec 2020 PQ. It says that set your timeline format to wide gamut HDR rec 2020 HLG as Dolby Vision videos on the iPhone 12 use the HLG representative. So, all right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna move it to HLG. And now that should solve your first issue and the footage should look correct. So we're gonna do this. All right, this is my project, untitled. I'll just call this test footage, okay? We're gonna import those clips here. So these last two, this one and this one, were HDR. The first two were non. Okay, so we're gonna import all those. So we're gonna actually import those. There they come. And we'll put all these in here. So in, 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 in. And you can see these are a little darker, right? That's the standard dynamic range. And then we get here, and this is HDR, the Dolby Vision. And of course, it definitely looks much nicer in that in that timeline. All right, so far, so far we're on track, excellent. Now it says, now when you edit your footage, use the following to export. Okay, so now this is where compressor comes in. So we are going to go and we've got this, it all looks lovely. We're gonna go file, send to compressor, new batch, I don't use compressor very often, so this is kind of cool. This one here, we're gonna, I had one in here already, so we're just gonna delete that. There's my test footage. Okay, so it's over in compressor now. Click on the small add button. 
So I'm guessing small add button. This one maybe? Okay, I'm with you. So this little guy right here. And choose the Apple devices 4K HEVC 10 bit. All right, Apple devices HEVC 10 bit. Okay. Loading project. Now, before when I had done it the other way, you get here, sure, you would see the original would look fine and the after compressor would look blown out. And I believe it's like he was saying, probably because of that 8 bit. It says here that when you add this HEVC 10 bit option, uh, pick up your location, of course. And now you should have a HEVC file that you can upload to YouTube. So we're, we're going to we're going to attempt that. So we're going to do this. And as you can see here, uh, looks the same before and after. Excellent. Move this over to where the HDR is. Looks the same before and after. So good. OK, so we're going to take this now and we're going to actually location wise, we're just going to put this on the desktop. So we're going to grab that, save it to the desktop, start our batch. There it goes. And we're going to upload this now as just simply a private YouTube video because we want to see if it functions. So this is in the midst of creating that file, which is good. It's, it is compressor and just be aware. I think it's because it's also 10 bit. This looks like, and it's not a long clip. This is like 40 seconds. This is, this is going to take a while. So I'm going to put you guys on pause for a minute and we're going to come back when this is, when this is finished. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. And it took just about five minutes for my computer to take that 40 second clip and export it. Again, it is dealing with a much larger file system uh, with it being 10 bit and HDR footage. And I am running off an external solid state drive. So not quite as fast as the internal, which can slow it down again a little bit, but closing compressor here, we now end up with a file here that is definitely very playable. And you can see that difference between standard and HDR. That's awesome. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually upload this to YouTube. You guys don't necessarily need to watch me do all this. I'm just going to hit upload here because I'm curious how this works. All good. Don't need a thumbnail. Don't need any of this. Don't care. We're going to not monetize any of it because it's just going to be private. Next. Next. Only me. Next. And this is now uploading, so we'll come back to this in a second. But back to Final Cut for a minute. Now, if you've already created a timeline and you've invested all this going through it and playing with it, now you did set this up as a library that is HDR, but you didn't choose, like what I didn't do, you didn't choose HLG. You actually left it with the standard, which was that PQ. So you have this PQ timeline. You can go in here and there's this thing called HDR tools. And you just, it's, I just did a search for HDR under all, under the, the effects in Final Cut. And you can drag this onto those clips. And once they're dragged up at the very top here, you can see you can go uh, PQ to HLG. So you can actually tell the system to switch them over to that so that it knows how to display them properly. So you don't have to be like, oh, well, I've just, now I got to recreate a whole new timeline again. You should be able to do this as he explains in this little, little email that he sent me or this comment that he put on the original video. So, you know, I'm not, and I'm not sure if this is HPR ghost or IPR ghost, but thank you so much because this, this hopefully will be a big help to a lot of us that have started playing with the iPhone 12 with the Dolby Vision on it. And a lot of us have invested into a project already, shot all this and are a little confused as to how to work with it. So hopefully this can definitely kind of fix that. Now I'm going to go back to 
good old oh it's already it's already started already so that's good i'm gonna put you guys on pause and we're gonna come back once it finishes its uh encoding all right two sex guys okay so the file is uploaded it's gone through all its conversion or compression that youtube has to do to it and i have watched this now on five different uh devices so i watched it on an apple tv playing on a 4k television that actually supports a dolby vision looked looked great i've played it on my ipad here's my ipad right here you guys may be able to see that but play that go to where the actual go full screen this is the dolby vision so again you guys maybe see that a little less reflection there you go looks looks great looks awesome okay i put it on my iphone runs like like a champ like a champ on the mac i safari here it is right here in safari and you can see here there it is test footage apple device right there is the standard definition looks a little little grayer which makes sense and then you go to the hdr footage which looks considerably nicer excellent looks like everything is running running like a champ but and I'm and I'm throwing this out there because I'm hoping somebody can answer this for me. Is I open up Chrome, okay? So we open up Chrome and we go to that test footage, and same footage, right? Just reload it here for you guys, just so you can see it. Reloads. This looks really good. Actually, looks better than it did in the other ones because the other ones are playing in HDR, so they've darkened it. But once you get to the actual HDR, you get this. It's it's blown, back, but it's only in Chrome. It's the only device, Chrome. So anything Safari based seems to run really good. And of course, on the iPhone or iPad, it's running directly through the YouTube app, and that runs really good. Chrome, and it even comes up. You guys can see it here, right? It even says HDR, right? There it is, HDR. I don't I don't know so a little bit of a uh, concern I guess because there seems to be a lot of Chrome users out there and I and I don't know I've tested it on the iMac and I've tested it on Chrome on my MacBook they give me both the same I get this blown out but Safari and the YouTube app work beautifully so I, I, I'm guessing I'm hoping maybe it's just Chrome I'm thinking so you guys get to uh, weigh this because do you want to have this HDR that you get to actually appreciate? Then follow these steps. If you're like, no, it needs to really be visible for everybody um, until I can figure out or get some help from some of these guys online. Again, leave, please, if you know what's going on, maybe there's a setting in Chrome that I need to turn on. I don't know. There's probably going to be a part three to this, you know, um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And, of course, leave comments if you have either experiences or have figured out how to make this work inside, especially Chrome. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Comments. Do it. Later, guys.